Hi there, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, how do we maintain the love in a marriage as we get older? Well, I don't know about you, but I still feel like I'm in my 30s. And unfortunately, my birth certificate and how I feel don't match. So it's very frustrating because I feel very, very young spirited all the time. And as we get older, there's things that happen to us that change up a lot of, of scenarios within a partnership. But unfortunately, sometimes what happens is age comes in and puts a few little glitches into the scenario. It could be a medical situation. It could be lack of sleep, also a little bit of weight gain, some hormonal changes, all these things come into play. So when you're in a relationship and you've been there for quite a while with somebody, this, these dynamics can really change up your relationship. And if you don't pay close attention to these changes and communicate with your partner about them, it can start to make you feel like you're, you're losing connection with them. You're starting to fizzle and you're going in opposite directions because one person may be young spirited and want to have fun and live life and be playful while the other one's kind of becoming a bit maybe more of a homebody or a couch potato. These kind of things you have to be on the same page always. Don't let it slide where one person's doing one thing and you're doing the, another and you're almost living separately within the same household because this is another big problem in many relationships. People aren't evolving together. They're not growing at the same pace or they're feeling just a little bit older than their partner might be feeling. And this is a, a situation that happens and why so many couples end up breaking up in later years. And then you're sitting there in your 50s and 60s and you're single again. So why not make it work while you're together? Because you can. I'm not saying it's simple. It's a lot of damn work. It truly is. But it's really worth it when you both take the time to care enough to keep the love alive in your partnership. We're all going to feel the aches and pains that age brings to us as we get older. Some people have had some surgeries in the past and those little problems are coming back to, to bite them here and there. And so you're going to have these things, but it's all about attitude and we all have stuff to deal with. It doesn't matter what age we are. As we get older, we just have a few more and that's part of the problem. But if you have a good attitude, and just look at it like, hey, here's a bit of a blip. I'm going to have to deal with it. But I've got all these other things that I'm really grateful for. And I'm going to get past this. Maybe my partner and I can work on it together. Maybe I can help them work on a few things. And just understand that there's going to be stuff that isn't really great that happens as you get older. It's really important to look at life as a blessing. It's not a given. You, you have to participate and make your life better all the time. We're all going to have things that we have to deal with, but it's how we deal with them and our attitude that goes with it that will bring us out of some of the dilemmas and, and health issues and things that we have to go through. My husband and I have had a lot of health issues in the last few years, and it's it's taxing. It really is because it plays a big part on your self-esteem. It plays a part on feeling attractive and feeling sexual and all those things. But you sit down and you talk about it together. And if you're not feeling sexual or you're not feeling, you know, romantic, tell them why you're not. Don't make it about, because they're just going to feel like it's about them. It's because of them that you're feeling this way. It's not. It's what you're going through. And if you can talk about it and ask them to be there for you and you be there for them when they're dealing with their stuff, you can compromise enough to keep the love flourishing between you. It's when people become separate from each other and they give up talking about things to each other because they don't maybe trust them or they just feel like, oh, what's the point? It's my stuff. I'm getting older. I don't like this. I'm just not into this anymore. It's too much friggin' work. Of course it's work. Everything in life is work. But a relationship is a good percentage of who you are 
and who you've allowed in your life for a long time. So you want to put your energy and your priorities into that relationship. Because as you get older and you're not working anymore and you're maybe retired together and you're out playing somewhere and traveling, you want to be able to get along well when you are doing these things. You don't want to be going on separate vacations constantly as you get older because your partner doesn't want to be a part of it. You need to grow together and you need to compromise together. If things have changed dramatically in your relationship, you're not giving to each other emotionally, you're not intimate with each other, these things are big problems and they will not go away. So if you're going to sacrifice and live with this situation, that's one thing. Most people get fed up living this way and they want a partner who cares. They want a partner who's willing to evolve through life like they are. And you know what? Be playful, be a kid. It doesn't matter how old you are. Do what you want to do, dress how you want. Be as goofy as you want to be and go dancing. Do things you did when you were younger and do them as a couple. This will keep you super close, I'm telling you. Have friends over, have theme parties, do things that are a little bit maybe out of the box that maybe people your age don't do. Find some younger friends, a few years younger that you can have some fun with. Go to events that people like-minded are at and then you can enjoy time with them. Giving in to getting older is not a good thing because not only is it depressing for you, it keeps you stagnant. It doesn't allow you to live your life as full as you possibly can, can make it. And sometimes people look at their birthday and they just say, okay, I'm 50. I guess this is what it is now. No, it isn't. It's what you make it. Don't succumb to just because of what your birth certificate says, the age you are, that you think you have to be that age and live how maybe your parents lived or your grandparents lived. No, things have changed. That's the great thing about being alive today is that you don't have to follow any huge rules. You can do what you want to do at any age. The couples that celebrate those milestone anniversaries are couples who get it. They get that they have to nurture their love in their relationship. They don't take it for granted. Ask a couple that's reached one of these milestone anniversaries and ask them, what made you survive to this degree? How come your love is still so great after all these years? And I think they're going to tell you it's because they were romantic they, with each other, they prioritized each other, they had date nights, they played together, and they were little kids sometimes with each other. And that's what makes a really strong and powerful relationship. So please don't give up just because you've reached a certain birthday and you think that you don't have, you can't do these things you want to do anymore. Have a bucket list and make all those things happen and do them with your partner. Play together. Couples who play together, stay together. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Please click like on the video and if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you would do so. Thank you so much. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.